Oh my God, no way, no way. Welcome to Svalbard, the most northern town in the world. During the months of April to August, the sun doesn't set at all. So it's actually like 4 a.m. right now, and we're still looking at bears. We just, we're literally filming polar bears all day long. It's May now, and I'm just arriving into Svalbard before the pack ice and fast ice melts. I just landed in Svalbard. You can check out this famous sign behind me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to get out on the ice and start looking for polar bears. Yes. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, there's like, there's reindeer right there. Reindeer, like just one second out the airport, we've seen reindeer. All right, we just got onto the boat. Or I'm not on the boat yet, but I'm about to be on the boat. And we <laughs> it's a 65 steel hull sailboat here. So uh, the rooms are not gonna be big, but really this is going to be a nice family adventure. All the people who come on this trip are invited. It's invite only. So only real cool people who are chill, not too demanding. And uh, we're gonna go and do our Svalbard extreme trip. Here is our room. I'm sleeping up here where this blue uh, sleeping bag is. Nancy's sleeping over here. Jen's sleeping up here where that orange sleeping bag is. And then we have some space for our camera gear over here. And then over here, we've got our washroom, which is also a shower. And it's really great because every cabin on this boat has its own bathroom and shower. Anyways, I was just notified that there's a bear about 10 minutes away, so let's go see if we can find it. Now this is polar bear territory. The females that have given birth in their dens are now out with their three or four month old cubs. Their time on the ice is limited as it will soon melt and they need to act quick and hunt as many seals as they can. The ring and bearded seal is their main meal of choice, but it's not unheard of to see them predate on harp seals, walrus, and even reindeer. You guys, I cannot believe what just happened. It is our first full day in Svalbard and we just witnessed a full predation. Getting footage like this is so rare. The people who I'm here with have been leading trips here for over 20 years and they've never, ever, ever seen this. Even the captain here, he's been sailing these waters for over 40 years and he's only seen this once before. What we witnessed today is unbelievable. Now what's even cooler is we were able to witness this polar bear who we're gonna call 42 because he's got 42 on his ass. That is what the polar bear researchers do out here. They tag and research the polar bears. So this is polar bear 42, it's a four year old male. And what's so cool is we watched the whole entire sequence. We were with this polar bear for over 14 hours. We were with the polar bear and watching the polar bear well before the polar bear even knew that the harp seal was there. The captain is so experienced. His name is Heinrich. I'm gonna sing his praise day after day after day because he is so talented. He saw that harp seal, parked the boat in a really great position where I was able to get this footage. And we saw 42, the polar bear, sniff and smell this harp seal. Polar bears can smell seals up to 20 miles away. So we saw the polar bear, we saw 42, we saw him sniff out this harp seal. We saw him sneak up, go in and out of the water, in and out of the water onto the ice and get up on the ice and take down this harp seal. What's sad about this predation as well is that we could see that the harp seal was alive for about two hours because a polar bear, when it takes its prey from a, a ring seal or a harp seal, they always take the skin and blubber first and they rarely go for the organs, especially the bear that did the predation. Other bears might come in and take the rest, you know, the organs and other bits of blubber that they can find. But when you get a healthy bear, that bear is normally gonna take the skin and the blubber first. And of course, that keeps this animal alive. Anyway, getting this footage as a wildlife photographer is so amazing. I'm so excited. I feel so blessed that I was able to capture this and hopefully, I don't know, maybe someone will buy the footage. If not, hopefully you guys will enjoy it and can see what nature in its element is like. 
Anyway, I am, I don't really stay up this late. It's like four in the morning now. I can't remember the last time I stayed up till four in the morning. It just doesn't happen. And you can see it's like light out. The sun just doesn't set here. It's always out. It's very hard to sleep. And I'm gonna go try to sleep. I'm so wired with adrenaline from the past 14 hours and all the crazy things we've just seen. Anyway, we're gonna move the boat. We're gonna change locations and we're gonna go and try and find more polar bears. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So, so guess what guys? Hey, say hey Jen. Everyone wants to say hi. Hey. That's Jen, she's cool. Jen Hadley, check her out. Um, anyway, so we're at a new spot. Yesterday we had our kill, it's day three on our trip right now and things are just going so well. And now we just had another polar bear and it came right up to our boat. I don't think I've ever been so close to a bear in my life. And it was just, it was amazing. It was amazing. And now we're moving the boat to go and see it because it's at a seal hole. It's just sitting by a seal hole. And you know, besides that, the drone views here are amazing. So check out some of these drone views. We still have 10 more days left on our trip. And this is just the beginning. We don't even know what's gonna happen. So let's see. So uh, this polar bear, the polar bear just actually went up to the boat that's uh, anchored um, beside us and started pulling on its chain. And it was just amazing. It's just us in this other boat up here. And it's phenomenal that this is happening. <laughs> we're having such a good, we're having such good interactions. It's crazy. And now it's just like walking and like the sun's in the background and it's like perfect for silhouettes. It's just so cool, it's amazing. This is why nature is amazing, it's just awesome. Being out here in the high Arctic and you know, just being at one with nature, it's amazing. Being able to see this, like how many people have seen a polar bear or have seen a polar bear up close? <laughs> it's crazy. Or have a polar bear go to the chain of their boat and pull on it or be interested in it. Jen's really happy, she's dancing. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Can you see her? Get down tonight. Oh, get down tonight. Yeah. All right, what's going on everyone? It's day three and we're so lucky as you can see behind me right there. We're in front of this really, really beautiful blue iceberg. Earlier today, you were able to get in a Zodiac that was still attached to the boat, like the main ship, the main sailboat. And we were able to get almost eye level with this walrus. It had one tusk and it was amazing. Okay, so we're at another iceberg here and this one's like clear and it's like ice. It's clear. You can see right through it. Apparently it's really rare. Take a look. It's day five or six here on the boat. I had a pretty terrible day yesterday. I didn't sleep very well, but I'm back at it. And right now we're at Leela Hook Glacier and you can see it behind me. It is absolutely stunning. We were able to put the drones up here and get some really incredible footage. You can see the reflections on the water of the glacier and the mountains with the boat and the Zodiac. It's just glorious. So we actually were almost 80 degrees north yesterday and we sailed about 10 hours overnight more south. And now we're here at this glacier, Leela Hook Glacier. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, yeah, we're just getting some great footage here. And then after this, we're gonna head more south and hopefully find some bears. It's been two days without bears, but we were able to get some really incredible walrus stuff up close on the Zodiac. We were also able to see bearded seals, mums and babies, and that was really incredible. They look so cute with their little whiskers. So that's it for now. I'll check in with you guys at our next spot. What's going on? Why are you behind me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm about to drop my anchor. Oh, you are? Yeah. We're dropping anchor? I just I just want to be in your videos so bad. Oh my god. You know? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> okay guys, so what's up? It's about to get really noisy. Okay, it's about to get really noisy. Alright, so I don't even know what day it is anymore. And I don't think it matters. Oh, it's Thursday, May 19th. It's, we're halfway through the trip. We're over a week into the trip. All right, what's going on, everyone? We've had a few days without bears, and we've had a few days where the bears were far, and now we have a bear right behind me. You, can, you might not be able to see it, but it's like right there, right there. And uh, we saw this bear, and it was just kind of like pouncing on some snow, and we're all like, what is he doing? He's wasting all this energy. And uh, lo and behold, he was able to get on some sort of animal that we think that had just maybe died. It wasn't in frozen state yet. 
and now um, the bear is sleeping and it's just such a beautiful photo with the reflection there. It's just astonishing to watch. To be honest, the days have kind of blended together. It's a almost two week trip and really super, super sleep deprived. I mean, wow, I haven't not slept this much since I was in college. And uh, yeah, it is hard. It is, it's hard. It's, uh, it's like your body just doesn't want to go to sleep anymore because the light is always out. It just doesn't get dark. I'm actually excited to see nighttime again. But um, other than that, I'm complaining about that. I'm in like the most amazing place in the world and we get to see polar bears, but it is definitely hard. It is harder than any other trip. And that includes the polar bears I did in February. I can't think of anything more challenging than having to stay up pretty much 24 hours a day uh, so you can see bears and walruses and the bearded seals and Arctic foxes. And of course, it's completely worth it. It's been so phenomenal. We've had over 14 bear encounters on this trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm off to Florida. I'm going to dive Blue Heron Bridge and catch up with some friends. So I'll check you out in the next one.